there's one thing that us car YouTubers get all of the time, it's comments from you guys on videos saying, clean your car. This is something I see literally on every single video, multiple, multiple times, but normally I make excuses for this. My excuses are normally, well, I don't have the time for it, or it costs too much money to keep it clean all the time. However, today I've decided to finally just put the nail in the coffin and spend an entire day and an entire video dedicated to this very purpose. Now, don't worry, you're not gonna see me attempt this with a dirty microfiber towel or a pressure washer that has the same force as an asthmatic blowing through a straw. I'm gonna get the pros to help me out here and uh, I've enlisted the very, very good help of iValley UK and I'll bring Rob on camera now to just talk through a little bit about who they are and what they're planning on doing to my dirty 760 Li. Hey morning. Rob. Morning Joel, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, yeah not bad, not bad. Um, so yeah, we are iValley UK. Uh, we are uh, primarily based in the southeast into the Midlands, mobile valeting and detailing services. But yeah, we're here today to take a look at your car specifically to see if there's any areas on your car that perhaps may have been missed in the past by specific car washes, maybe yep. hand washes for example, and see if we can pick out and identify those areas where our extra little bit of attention to detail comes into play. The first bit that I've noticed on the car straight away visually is the, uh, the rear wheel here. You can see that the wheel's been cleaned from the top down with a pressure washer, but you've actually got an angle on, on some remaining dirt which suggests that the, the wheel hasn't been turned in the cleaning process, the only way to access the underside of the wheel and the underside of the spokes is to actually move the wheel. You can clean it by hand, but you still can't see what you're actually trying to clean without moving the car 180 degrees or the wheel 180 degrees. Second thing um, that I've noticed is just inside the fuel filler cap here, there's a lot of old built up uh, debris from fuel and, and just bits of grime. Obviously very frustrating when you take the car to have it washed, it comes out beautifully clean. You go to fill up with fuel, and bang, you hit with some fresh dirt. So we'll make sure that that's cleaned and cleared up. Uh, inside the boot, we've got things like the, um, around the edge of the windscreen seal at the back here, uh, and the runners themselves, just where dirt and grime likes to build up, and it's not an easily accessible area. You know, when you go to wash your car, when you have your car washed, the first thing you think of is to just do the outside. You don't start opening up pieces of the car, and that sort of stuff then builds up. It's safe to open up pieces of the car, the doors, the boot, the bonnet, and just wash. You can either do it with a brush or you can do it carefully with a jet wash and just get in those little edges all down the, uh, the side seal and the, and the runners of the, um, of the rear window there. And then moving on to the interior, it shows up a lot of the dirt and for a 13 year old car, the seats look like they've probably had the odd wipe over the top, but we'll get a magic sponge on there with um, some of the GTEC cleaning uh, leather cleaner. I've just noticed as well on the sort of inside of the door carpet bit there, it's absolutely filthy. Yeah. I was going to ask quickly as well, just before we get started, the work that you're going to do today, will that actually, will there be some sort of preventative stuff in there that will make it easier in future to keep clean or? Sure, so generally uh, you can get products that will then protect over the top of the surface as well, but generally the best thing to do is just to maintain it as you go. Yeah. Um, once you've had a big deep clean, the easiest thing is every time you clean the car, to just wipe over the surfaces everywhere that normally gets up, you know, gets that build up of dirt, the bolsters for example, the seats in general, and just get yourself a microfiber, a little bit of leather cleaner, and wipe over the top every time, and it just aids in that prevention of, of the dirt coming back again. Excellent, well it sounds like there's quite a lot to do, so I should probably stop interviewing you and we should <laughs> get going. Cool, awesome, thanks mate, let's get back. So guys, the exterior of the car has been given a once over now and that paintwork, that Monaco blue paintwork is absolutely gleaming. Um, I don't think I've ever, I mean I haven't, I've not actually seen the paintwork clean since I picked the car up. And um, through there as well you can see the interior, which is about to get a much needed, I mean overhaul really. Everything, I mean the seats are coming out, so it's, um, it's going to be an incredible difference, but yeah, look at that. And as we spoke about, the uh, the wheels here, we rolled the car forward, gave them a half turn, and so they're looking absolutely 
fantastic. And even inside here, as we spoke about too, looking extremely clean. So, the plan is now yes. to remove all of the loose debris, um, all of the bits and pieces that are on the floor. Basically, the reason we take the seats out is because you'll never ever get access to underneath there properly without doing so. Um, it gives us a nice big bed to work with. We can get all of the dirt and all the grime out. You've got vents in there, you've got speakers, you've got all sorts of gadgets, wires and stuff that can all get a proper clean up. And it also makes it easier to clean. Yeah. Um, when we've got the brushes and stuff and the, and the shampoos going into the carpet, much easier to clean. You can also see the difference in colour between the bit that has been underneath the seat and the bit that you normally put your feet on as well. It's literally, it's completely it's, different, isn't it? it I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but yeah. that's almost brown in colour and this is cream slash beige. Absolutely. Uh, and you've got things around here, like little bits of dirt around where the bolts would normally hold the seat in. Again, never going to get access to that on a normal, normal cleaning process. Uh, and then we're going to move on to the lever. Um, we'll do the drivers and the passenger front seats out of the car but they're really, they're really filthy, but all of this level will get nice good. Amazing. As well. it is, this is the strangest feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally live in here. You actually could. Yeah. You actually could. dread to think what germs are on that wheel like just, what if you actually swabbed it what you <laughs> just imagine like you, you buy a car like this and you take delivery of it or you drive it around and it appears clean yeah to, to a normal human eye before it came in you'd think well yes it's cleanish clean enough to drive around in then you see stuff like that and it's like there really is that much <laughs> hidden dirt in there yeah Okay, so the guys are all done in there. The car, the interior in particular, is looking, I mean, it's looking almost factory. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a car that clean. It really is quite something. Look at those right carpets. <laughs> wow. That is, and the wheel as well is just completely changed. Feels totally different as it well. Does. Yeah. Well, you now join me back at home with the 760 Li a few days later, and it really does now look exquisite. Now, although a relatively short video, the work that iValet UK did on this car actually took about eight hours. And now the paintwork is really shining through, particularly when the sun comes out, which is actually very rare, but thank you, on cue. Um, really, really rare. Uh, inside the petrol filler cap is clean, like super clean. And uh, also the windscreen seals, really clean. And actually, 
even from here, the paintwork just smells really nice. I might just... The inside is now as it should be in my palace on wheels. Even the seats were removed, as you saw, which to me looked about as complicated as the UK's Brexit deal. But it is the time and effort that goes into the cleaning that really makes the lasting difference. But now that I'm left with a bit of a problem in that I'm actually just too scared to sit in it. Right, first and foremost, slippers on. I'll take these shoes off. There we go. And slippers going on. The interior in here, honestly, just feels so clean. Like all of the colours of the interior, be it beige and a wood sort of trim, um, have just really come out, uh, has transformed it. The steering wheel has gone from a sort of shiny, greasy finish to a really, really soft matte finish. You can actually really feel it when you're driving. To say it feels like a new car in here is, is genuinely not an overstatement, at least in my opinion. It, it really does. I think it's about as close as you can get to that without literally going and buying a new car. Everything I touch now is just completely like dust, muck, grease free. Just, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I mean, the carpets, I have to say the carpets are just so plush now, so soft and plush and look straight out of Buckingham Palace. I mean, to be honest, I feel grossly underdressed to be sat in here. I'm almost embarrassed to be sitting here in dirty jogging bottoms and whatever this is. It's, uh, it's almost wrong. And oh, the headlining. Oh my goodness. Don't get me wrong. It's just a headlining, but I could actually sit here and stroke that all day. So all joking aside, I would like to say a genuine big thank you to iValley UK for their efforts on the 760. Um, they did actually go and make a video on their channel, which came out way ahead of mine, they're way more organised, um, which actually goes into more detail on the, the actual cleaning process. So if you're interested in that, go and check out their channel and watch the video they did on my car. It's live now, I'll put a link down below. Anyway, from me though, thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next episode where I take the car to a BMW mechanic. Wish me luck.